One of the greatest disasters in American history was public education being overrun by flaming liberals who immediately expelled all Christian moral standards that were the key to American greatness. Now we have students mass murdering each other, raping each other, impregnating each other, on and on. And the only solution the flaming libs have is condoms, Planned Parenthood, and cursing the Second Amendment. Well, I know exactly how we can immediately put American schools on the road to recovery. Every morning, in every classroom, every student stands at attention for the Pledge of Allegiance. Any teacher who refuses gets fired, no exception, and every student who takes a knee in protest is immediately introduced to the wonders of homeschooling. And every teacher, without exception, starts the day with a lesson from that pledge. Lessons on loyalty, personal honor, unity as a nation, and most important of all, what it means to be a nation under God. A nation that is accountable to the Creator God whose hand was clearly seen in the establishing of the United States. Every student must be reintroduced to the fact that each and every one of them is accountable to their Creator and one day each of them will stand for judgment where they will answer for every word and deed in this life. The absolute number one deterrent to evil behavior is the knowledge of the unavoidable eternal judgment that they will face. The Pledge of Allegiance will also give those kids a sense of belonging, a sense of national pride which leads to a desire to contribute to this country rather than tear it down. Gee, wouldn't that be a nice change of pace? And you know what else the mandatory pledge would do? It would drive out godless, immoral teachers like cockroaches fleeing the light. That one simple thing, mandating the Pledge of Allegiance, is a major step in the right direction wouldn't cost anything and it could transform American schools back into something that we can be proud of once again. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching and America bless God again.